folks, Raina Mermaid here with my next vlog coming at you. Uh, I've got a bunch of junk here and there's a reason for it. I'm going to show you how to pack for a mermaid gig and what I think you should take with you. Today I'm doing a two hour gig. Um, the first hour is going to be swimming in the pool. The second hour is going to be doing fun things in the party room. So first things first, you need a lot of towels. I don't mean one or two, I mean like four or five. And the reason for that is because you may use one or two on your body, but if your tail is leaking water all over the place along the way, you're going to want to clean that for liability reasons so nobody trips or falls. Uh, you never know when you're going to end up in a change room that's full of pee and you're going to want a couple layers of towels on the bottom there. <laughs> so we always bring quite a few towels and we keep some extra in our car. Um, we're using today for transportation, I've shown this in videos before, our little dolly that we've got here and we've got our totes on top to put things in so I'm just going to go ahead plunk my towels in there. The next thing I've got is our camera because we do offer photographic services um, for our packages, but you may just want to bring it in order to get some behind the scenes photos or something that you can use on your website or Facebook page. Be sure you're checking out the information I've already given you about liability when it comes to photography. So we have our package here of uh, camera gear and uh, everything's all charged up, extra batteries, extra SD cards, everything you can use. In she goes. Uh, one of the things you might notice while I'm picking up all my things is that I've got Halifax Mermaid labels on everything. Um, this is really great for advertisement purposes, but also just to keep track of your stuff in case something gets left at a gig or something like that. So we got these made at Vistaprint, super cheap. It's just our logo with our website on it. So if somebody sees something, they can find our website or they can return our stuff. You're going to want flip flops if you're going to be walking on the pool deck. You don't want any nasty stuff on your feet. Um, okay, what else we got here? So, some of the essentials. Dry clothes for when you leave. Uh, that kind of sounds like a no-brainer, but it's often forgotten because we wear a lot of our mermaid gear underneath our regular clothing. So you're going to want, um, for girls, I really suggest a strapless bra because you can just pull it up really quickly if you have to change in a flash. Got a pair of shorts here atop and underwear. Remember your underwear. I know it sounds really dumb, but you couldn't imagine how many gigs I've done and I've had to drive home sitting in a wet bathing suit. So make sure you fit your underwear. Put it all in a plastic bag so that if it gets wet when you're putting stuff away later, it's not going to mess it up. I hoard plastic bags like crazy because I don't want them to end up in the garbage or going uh, into the ocean. A lot of people don't realize you can actually recycle your plastic bags. You can keep tons of them and then put them in with your recycling. So we do that. Uh, I like to give our lifeguards thank you gifts and I recommend doing it on a regular basis. We perform at a lot of different pools and I'm always trying to make sure the lifeguards feel appreciated. So I've got some candy for my lifeguards today and a little postcard thank you note. We're going to stick that in there. All right. If you're like me and you get blisters on your toes, you're going to want your little half booties or your neoprene socks, whichever makes you feel more comfortable. If you're stuck, you can actually wear regular thin socks in your monofin and keep the blisters away. Um, I haven't gotten a single blister since using these, and before I was getting them constantly. So pack those. You want some business cards? So I've got a little treasure box with my business cards in it. Get your Mer Wrangler or your assistant to hand them out. Put those in there. Um, stuff for your hair. Before you go, I highly recommend um, giving your hair an oil treatment if you can because it's so hard on your hair. Uh, but also I find this, uh, this is a Tresemme Platinum Strength uh, Renewing Complex Spray, which is actually silicone based. So putting in your hair and letting it absorb, it'll create a bit of a barrier between that and the chlorine. So um, I've already treated my hair, but sometimes I like to put it right in my hair after I wash it at the pool. So I'm going to put that in the bag as well. I've done extensive research on preventing uh, chlorine damage to your body and one of the things I learned is that taking vitamin E and vitamin C before your exposure to chlorine and after an exposure to chlorine will actually help your body process it better. So I've already taken some today and I'm going to stick some in here so I can take some on the way home. Um, I'm not going to bring this with me, but putting some coconut oil or something similar on your skin a couple hours before so that you've got a bit of a barrier between it and the chlorine is also helpful. And um, if it's going to take you a while before you get home, you might want some, um, so something to help your sore muscles when you're done. And uh, isopropyl alcohol can help you with that. 
or a muscle rub. Um, if your tail is going to be sitting in your car for a while, I also recommend bringing the isopropyl alcohol because you can spray the inside of your tail and prevent it from growing mold if it's going to have to sit for a while. We're coming right home after this, so I'm not worried about it, but some of our gigs we've had to do a little bit of traveling in between, so it's a good thing to pack for that. I have got my Genteel eye gel, eye gel to put in before I go and uh, when I get home. Actually, I'm going to leave it out because I'm going to use it. Um, I recommend some sort of face balm for when you get out of the pool to help calm the chlorine. Got a nice comb here. My hair. Some hair elastics just in case I want to put my hair back. Deodorant. It's summer now, we're all stinky. Um, my eyes get really bothered after I get out of the chlorine and all I want to do is get the eye makeup off. So I've got my eye makeup remover as well. So I've got all these lovely things. I'm going to stick them in. Uh, I recommend, you don't have to drag all your makeup with you. The only thing I bring with me is extra lipstick because my lipstick will come off. But I'm going to use that. You want your moisturizer in order to get your tail on, so make sure you've got something. Um, I use Aveeno um, because it's pretty gentle on the silicone and it washes out really easily, so I can get it on my legs in order to get the tail in, but then I open the lace, let the water in, it flushes it out, so it's not doing any damage. Um, it really just depends on what your tail is made out of, but if it is silicone, it's hard to get on without some lubrication, so make sure you've got that. I've gone to gigs and have forgotten it, and it's really frustrating when you do that. Um, I've got my earplugs. Uh, we've talked about these before. I try not to take the whole container because then I lose it. So what I've got is like a little uh, gum container here and so I'll just take one out and stick it in there. Leave the rest at home. And there it is. Now as far as party favors and things like that go, I've got my lovely decorated treasure bin here and inside of it I've got a variety of mermaid stones and uh, I've got some here that glow in the dark. The kids love them. Some really big ones, some diamond shaped ones. Kids don't have a lot of choice in their life, so I like to give them a choice with these things. So I pack that up. I'll put that in my bin in a second. Um, I've got some stickers that we use as bracelets with the children. Uh, I use hair extensions as mermaid hair. So each kid gets to pick out their own mermaid hair extension. Sometimes boys like it, sometimes they don't. I try to bring a variety of colors and things and Sometimes they like it, sometimes they don't. So I've got some um, stick-on pirate mustaches if there's a boy who doesn't want mermaid hair. I've got, I would never pay full price for these, but uh, during Halloween, if you want to run around the stores uh, the day after Halloween and score a bunch of awesome um, glitter hairspray, kids really love that, makes them feel very mermaidy. It's a little smelly, but the smell does dissipate quite quickly. These are originally priced eight bucks. We bought them for 50 cents. Don't pay $8 for them, that's ridiculous. <laughs> they only last for like a party each. So I've got some of this that I'm gonna be bringing. Um, I've got this reusable container that I keep filling full of sparkles, body sparkles, and I put that on the kids. So I've got that here. My earplugs over here. Oh, pink is very popular for mermaid hair, so I bring lots of that. Um, I hand out postcards to the kids. It's got my website on the back. It's a, it's a little photo of me. I sign it, I autograph it with a little personalized message for each child at the party. They really enjoy that. So I pack those with several permanent markers just in case you guys. Um, we have a bungee cord. We bring this along with a strap that we put just to help us carry everything so nothing gets, you know, falling around. Um, so, and I also have a blanket for covering everything up so the children don't see it. And we have a shirt that Sean wears so people know who he is when we're doing the gigs. Um, you want to make sure you're introducing your mer wrangler or your assistant to people so they know why this random person is there taking photos. <laughs> make sure you're talking to the lifeguards and the lifeguards give you permission to take photos or talking to the parents, that sort of stuff. So we have a t-shirt for Sean that he wears. And that's about everything except obviously my tail. So what I'm going to do here, the stuff I need the most is going to be on top, which I didn't do it while I was packing it, but you should. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to put my tail in last, and some of these things I'm going to keep out for, for me to use before I go. Um, 
I find packing is easy. It's when you're finishing the gig and you're trying to get everything back out in a rush without the kids seeing you. That's when damage can happen. So make sure you've got some little trays and things like this. That way when you're taking your earrings, your necklace and whatever, you can put it in. It's not going to get damaged. I'm also the queen of taking my tops and wrapping them up in a towel or a blanket so that uh, nothing's getting damaged in between rushing around for things. So I really recommend doing stuff like that if you can. And uh, yeah, so that is how I pack for a gig. Um, some upcoming events, if you want to check out the website, we're going to be doing a workshop on specifically working with children. I believe it's June 14th, but I'll put the caption on the video. It's 25 bucks, or you can buy the recording later. I really hope you'll join me. The last one was fantastic. Uh, my book is on sale. Um, it's 10% off my discount. It's 10% off the paperback. And for the next few days, my publisher is having an additional 20% off. So it's a great time to buy my book right now. You can get 30% off. So I hope you'll check that out. Um, if you're local and you want to see upcoming events, go to HalifaxMermaids.com. If you want some more information on how to be a professional mermaid, please check out the rest of the videos in this series or my book or you can go to www.mernetwork.com. And as always, you can follow me on Facebook, Raina the Halifax Mermaid, and Halifax Mermaids also have their own Facebook page. I hope you have an awesome weekend, and uh, you got a little bit of information here about packing up for a gig, and good luck. Thanks, see you again.